I'm Dino Cook and I tattoo at Sink or Swim Studio in Atlanta, Georgia. I've always throughout my career sort of been known as a realism artist and even more known for color realism, but quite a few years back I married my two passions together and started using my underwater photography in conjunction with my tattoo art and once I did that it, like everything took off for me. I have a slogan that I've come up with that is I take all my work from sea to skin. So I go out and I gather all my own reference material and I take my own photos and put them into actual tattoos and paintings. My clients we usually sit with me for hours at a time and we'll go through my library of images until we come up with just the right one for their project which suits their needs and wishes. We're off and running. My stencil process for, for years has been I hand make them all. It serves as a bit of a dress rehearsal, it's sort of the same concept of a, a race car driver that likes to take a few laps around the track before the actual race begins. You want to get yourself familiar with things and I think that hand making stencils, no matter how sophisticated these new processes come out, in my view nothing surpasses that. That being said, there's still a, a lot of really good uses for these new technologies I feel like and I don't want to pretend like I have some authority to speak on them, I'm just starting to learn them myself, but I certainly see the benefit that they bring to the table. I think placement is a very, very important part of the tattoo process. How the tattoo wears on the body and fits and flows is equally as important as the, the image itself, you know. I think it, it's the design and placement, arguably the most important part of the entire project. If it's poorly placed and well done, you just have a well done tattoo that looks awkward, doesn't wear well. I love interacting with my customers. Part of the reason why I do sea life, you know, that genre of work is because I find that I'm very like-minded and compatible with the people that share that passion. I have made some very close friendships and wonderful relationships with a lot of my clients who they start as clients and become very dear close friends of mine. What one aspect makes my job easier? Omid, my personal assistant. That dude is so on top of everything. I couldn't do half of what I do without his help. And that, that's the truth. He is uh, he's a godsend to my career. As far as teaching tattooing goes, I'm, I'm a bit indifferent. I don't really think it matters what the hell I think. We can't control these things, and what's gonna be is gonna be. Pandora's box has already been opened, and I don't really see what anybody's trying to hide from by keeping secrets. I think that just speaks to one's own insecurities. And if you're on top of your game and doing your daily best, it shouldn't bother you at all. And, you know, who am I to knock somebody for wanting to learn the same trade that I once learned? And, you know, It'd be rather double standard of me to say, oh, I'm good enough and I'm special and I got to learn this art form, but hold on, not you. You're not special enough. It's not for me to say. I say to each his own, whatever's going to be is going to be. I'm just going to keep doing mine. My biggest advice to a, a young tattooer starting out is uh, well, a couple things. First, avoid the pitfalls that this industry can offer, you know, like there tends to be quite a bit of partying in the beginning, you know, like I think a lot of people experience a little bit of success and they uh, can take that a little too far. I think uh, that's a, a real easy one to fall into and I think it distracts you from your art, just not living up to the caliber of artist that you're capable of. And I don't care who that is. You know, I don't care how well you do it. You're always gonna be a fraction of your most awesome self. And that would be my first and foremost. And, and 
you know, take good care of yourself. Take good care of your health. With, with so many people in this industry, myself included, in my past life, throw health to the wayside and it's easy to do. We work long hours, we travel. There's so many reasons and that we can make it easy to, to not live our healthy best self. But you gotta really take care of yourself physically to do this long term, you know, for longevity. And I think my final piece of advice to a, a young tattooer starting out would be, you know, if you start experiencing success and you start getting a lot of hype, take it with a grain of salt, you know. Don't don't drink the Kool-Aid, don't believe all the hype, don't don't take in all your great press. Stay humble and just just keep hungry, keep working at it. Don't become complacent. My favorite place in the world to travel is a no-brainer, the Bahamas. I love the Bahamas. I consider it to be my backyard. Live in Atlanta, so we major international airport, busiest airport in the world. I can jump a flight and be in the Bahamas in an hour. But specifically, the reason I love the Bahamas is it is a shark sanctuary now. The whole country has deemed it illegal to kill sharks. And if you want to see sharks, that is the number one place in the southeast, at least, to go diving to see them. I don't like to get in the water unless there's sharks. So for me, Bahamas, number one. The best way to get an appointment with me is to email me at dinocook at gmail.com or call my studio in Atlanta and talk with Omid. I mean, Peru's back. He uh, takes care of my scheduling. And either, if you email me, either myself or he will get back to you. And the way we like to handle things is for people to email us an idea of what they have and of where they want to get it tattooed on the body, a picture of the body part go from there email reference photos and to be honest with you I stay pretty busy so the coolest ideas that are going to allow me artistic freedom are the ones that are going to get responses the fastest and we're, we're courteous and professional to everyone that contacts us so everyone eventually gets a contact back and we're we're pretty uh, punctual about it I know some people aren't as lucky as I am to have such good staff and team working with them and we are definitely a team business so because of that we're, we're able to get back with people pretty timely and uh, I don't let those things lag around but if you really want to get in it's going to be probably the kind of ideas that you would think they would be those are going to be the ones that get the quickest responses and the quickest schedule times We've been in the same location for 24 years, and throughout my career, it's been known as Psycho Tattoo. But over the last year, we've been doing a rebranding and came up with a new name and a major remodel and restructuring of everything for all the right positive reasons. I mean, you hear people doing such things, and it's usually not for the best of reasons. Ours is 100% all positive vibes and all for good reasons. We just, we felt like we had outgrown the name, we had outgrown that entity, and uh, we wanted to shed it like shedding dead skin, you know, a rebirth, reinventing ourselves. Uh, I feel like I've reinvented myself. I've gone through some major life changes for the, for the better, extremely positive, all healthy, and uh, it was just time to do the same thing professionally, so, we're now a uh, Sink or Swim studio. I'm Dino Cook and I tattoo at Sink or Swim studio in Atlanta, Georgia.